hey june so yes i do think if i'm remembering this correctly that it was a correlational study but this was a few years ago this clip is not a new clip it's an older clip but i did have another article that i wanted to share with you as well one second hey, friends my name is dr chanel tolson i am a scientist and dr of public health my goal is to bridge the gap between science and the community. Consider me your new science communicator friend. <laughs> like this video, give me a share and a comment to keep more content like this on your timeline. Okay, so in this 2010 study, the researchers discuss the lack of causality in previous research and also discuss the possibilities behind the correlation between people noticing a significant increase in mucus when intaking dairy when they're sick versus when they're not sick. So some quick background knowledge. So when we digest milk, we excrete something called beta casomorphin 7 from MUC 5AC glands. That's the first thing we should know. This happens when you digest milk. And in our respiratory tracts, so healthy individuals with a healthy respiratory tract without infection, we secrete mucins, we can find mucins, MUC 5AC and MUC 5B. That's in healthy individuals. And they're in low concentrations. Now, if you're someone who has an active inflammation or an inflamed respiratory tract, or maybe you have asthma or bronchitis, something like that, then you will naturally have higher levels of the mucins, MUC5AC and MUC5B. And that's natural occurrence. So researchers in this study swab the nasal passages of two groups. The group that we consider normal nasal passages or normal respiratory tracts, and the group that is considered inflamed. Uh, that was an asthmatic group. And so what those researchers concluded is that regardless of the presence of milk or not, if you have an inflamed respiratory tract, you are already producing higher levels of those mucins that will be found at lower levels in a normal respiratory tract. This led them in final conclusion to state that Increased milk consumption is not causal to increase mucin or mucus production in the body.